everybody. How you doing out there today, man? Barry Bonds breaking the record's kind of impressive. We got a lot of stuff going around sports right now and music. That was Mayor Wild. You know, it's one of my favorite bands to promo my episodes for the IFL. And right now, we got the janitor from the IFL. We've got Vladimir Metyshenko. How you doing, Vladimir? Good. How are you guys? Hello, everybody. Good, good. Listen, you've come back from a very big background and are coming out as a superstar at the IFL with your background. How did you get involved in the IFL? Well, I would call myself a superstar. I'm still working on it, but uh, <laughs> I wound up in the NFL. It's, uh, NFL is one of the biggest organizations right now out there in uh, MMA. And I was uh, looking forward. To, I was not satisfied. I was not ready to retire, what I say. <laughs> and uh, that was perfect for me. It's going well so far. Uh, my team are lost, but uh, I'm still had to have a couple more fights as an individual Grand Prix. So well, that's what I've been looking for. Well, you're kind of humble there. You've you've been a very successful fighter since you've been into MMA. You've been in it for 10 years, and you've got a pr an impressive record. Why don't you go over the record that you have so far attained? You are a uh, superstar. What about the question? Your background, for the last 10 years you've been fighting mixed martial arts, and you've accomplished quite a bit in that time frame. Talk a little bit about your accomplishments. Well, my accomplishments, yes, I've been... Uh... I have enough fights. Uh, I just didn't have a right fight, I guess so. Or uh, I still have three losses. I still want to maybe fight uh, uh, TDRTs again, even Arlovsky and uh, Vernon White, those three fights, and I think uh, I could win them. That's what I was looking for that. And also, I don't know, something in my blood, I can't, I can't be satisfied yet. Now... When you now, a lot of us were asking questions when we um, started signing this up. Your background and where you came from, the IFL is really pushing you. As the um, your background is a great story. Can you go over your background before we uh, start off and where you are right now, where you came from, and and how you actually got involved in mixed martial arts? Uh, yes, it's kind of yes, yeah, interesting story. I guess you can write a book about it if you want to. But uh, I came from a uh, Belarus small town. Uh, Back then, it was Soviet Union when I started coming, you know, start wrestling. And I started wrestling internationally. Uh, that's my most dream, to just travel and see different countries. And I come to America. Actually, it was my second time in America. And at that time, in the early 90s, uh, things were falling apart there, in the, back in old country. And, and coaches were stealing money from the team. And uh, I decided, hey, I'm going to stay here. I like it here in the United States. Even though my wife and my four-year-old kid was back there still, I'm like, I'm staying. I'm going to bring him over later, and which is I did. And I had no money. I had like 100 bucks, very few words of English, and, well, I make it. <laughs> I start wrestling, wrestle the college. I coach the college, and, uh, and it was pretty successful years for me. And start fighting. I saw a few early UFCs, and uh, I say, I can do it. And, and I went in, and that's it. It's it's kind of impressive. Your background is very little English, and where you come from now, um, as far as in the IFL. Right now, you're entering the uh, Grand Prix, and your fighting style is very you plodding along, looking for your openings, and then capitalizing. What would you consider your style, in your own words? My style, in my word, words. <laughs> There's no such a thing as style. I keep telling everybody, but. Uh, the first style takes whatever you want to win. Uh, if a guy wants to be ground pound, I take him ground pound him. And my last fight, I trained some kicks and uh, strikes, and he works pretty well. And in the future, I'm looking forward to it. I can't really just rely on one thing, and I know people, the more the famous, I guess, I guess, and uh, the more people will learn the fighters who fight against me. So I have to be well prepared and surprised and I mean, watching you is kind of amazing to watch how you go into a fight, set it up, and bam, you start taking over the match. This last fight you had, um, if I remember correctly and, and gone through the notes, because I've made mistakes before in interviews, um, it, it went to the decision on that one, and usually you're a first-round knockout. You take care of business pretty quickly. What happened in, the, in that last fight? When, again, uh, I didn't know who I'm fighting so I was I didn't say I was not prepared but I didn't know who I'm fighting until literally the last twenty four hours. And 
and the guy was pretty tough. He had nothing to lose. He just fought the week before. Uh, he uh, was an All-American wrestler, and the team was already won, the Hands of Grace's team, so he had no regrets. He had nothing to lose, and he put up a good fight. Uh, I feel like I couldn't submit him. Maybe I could have like, took him down, side control him, mouth him one time. I don't want to just take that risk and lose my position, just go for arm bar or something. I just want to stay in the top and pound him. And also, I want to try my striking skills. I've been working on it, and it works pretty well. I couldn't knock him out or anything, but I think I did pretty good damage to him. I mean, I enjoy watching you fight because you step in there, and you do look like the guy next door, the guy you go over and say, hey, can I borrow a wrench? Um, you've got that look on your face. I bet you get that a lot. It looks like the guy next door. Yeah, I heard it for a lot. <laughs> and well, actually, a lot of people are in my neighborhood and uh, all my neighbors. And like, are you the, I just saw you fighting. I couldn't believe you doing it. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy going for more of myself, put the belt on my waist and go walk around like this. I'm, I'm just, I'm pretty mellow. Now, now we're going to go over, um, how did you get become the janitor? I was trying to research that and I was trying to figure out is it the guy next door look, or there was something else behind it? Uh, there's a little bit some something else behind it. I think it's a uh, uh, back from wrestling background. Uh, I think Dave Dave Schultz. He's a, used to be Olympic champion. He passed away now, but uh, he gave me that nickname. I think uh, when I was back in Russia, American team came over, and uh, I was kind of cleaning the mats. I didn't exactly I was wearing. Uh, uh, athlete's outfit because I would just get released from my uh, military days. Yeah. And the next day I was wrestling the same guys and they said, well, and I beat them all. They were actually the <laughs> Kevin Jackson and Roy Salder. They, was, you know, they were stars back then. They were world champions and uh, I beat them in the first round and the Dave Schultz was making joke when you guys lost the Russian janitor. So that's, he came from back from there. Wonderful. That's good. Now, um, on your fight. Now, what's going on in the playoffs as far as the IFL? You guys were kicked out of the. Um, you guys lost. Was it four one? If I'm not mistaken, correct? Uh, yes, yes, we lost this one. Uh, I was hoping we we're gonna win. We could have win. We just uh, some mistakes from, I think, from both fighters and coaches, and that's you know. That's the way. And the, the hands of team is pretty strong team to go against. But we, sh we should have no mistakes.